Are you stuck at 30% for mental disorders and you're trying to get an increase to get yourself closer to that 100% combined disability rating? Well, welcome to Battle Buddy Ben. And in this episode, we're going to go over the criteria at 50 and 70% so that you can try to get there from your current 30% or lower. Let's get started. So 30% mental disorder review. Here is the occupation. It's occupational and social impairment with the occasional decrease in work efficiency and intermittent periods of inability to perform occupational tasks. And there are other stuff here. You can see due to symptoms as depressed mood, anxiety, suspicionist, panic attacks, chronic sleep impairment, and so on. You can read that there. So this is the review of what you have if you are rated at 30%. Now, if any of this is more severe or any multiple parts of this are more severe, you can potentially get to that 50 and 70% rating depending on how severe they are. And because you can see something like here, self-care, self-care is going to be big in some of these upper levels that you actually are have your mental disorders interfering with your ability to take care of yourself. If you're finding this information useful and helpful, hit the like and subscribe buttons below this video to let other veterans and friends and family of veterans to find this video and get their questions and concerns about this topic answered. Also check out more content like this here on the Battle Buddy Ben YouTube channel. Then check out my website. It is BattleBuddyBen.com. I have a lot of great links, templates, and information about the VA disability claims process on there. So here is or are the mental disorder disability schedules for 50 and 70 percent. And I listed down there in the bottom below the, the screenshot here, the depressed mood, anxiety, suspiciousness, all that, because that's from the 30%, because I want to come back up here and take a look and compare it. So both have the occupational and social impairment, both of which, so that just remember that it's, it's in all of them, but it's more severe as you go up. And then we'll just look at the 50. So re, with reduced reliability and productivity due to such symptoms as flattened affect, circumstantial, circumlocutory, or stereotype speech, panic attacks are more, than, more than once a week, difficulty in understanding complex commands, impairment of short and long-term memory, impaired judgment, impaired abstract thinking, disturbances of motivation and mood, difficulty in establishing and maintaining effective work and social relationships. So, and then 70% is, look at that last one, inability to establish and maintain effective relationships. But it goes into you're starting to get worse. Your self-care is starting to get degraded and all of that. So that's what going from 50 to 70% are. And that's why I say it's easy to get to at least 30%, but you have to now prove through psychiatric records that you are starting to move up there. So it doesn't have to be like you're in a psychiatric hospital. You you can just go to your psychiatrist or you have your you know, buddies write you buddy letters and you write yourself a statement in support of claims to say I'm meeting this here and you might meet parts of this and I go over a lot of these in a, a lot of these more complex symptoms in a different video but you can go and find that on my channel but for a lot of a lot of these you're starting to get worse and you're starting to lose your capacity to stay in reality I'm going to go into the next slide I'm going to kind of highlight things so you can see social occupational and social impairment neglect the personal hygiene that goes into that self-care I said with the 30% but occupational and social impairment is common from the 30% rating all the way up so that's something that you need to emphasize in your statement in support of claims or if you have buddies that are writing your buddy letters have that emphasize the impairment part there because you can then use that that those lay statements to get to that higher rating here's another part so I moved over here so as I see highlighted below the top four, depressed mood, anxiety, suspiciousness, panic attacks, you can see how that fits into some of these symptoms in the 50 and 70% range that are more severe. So disturbance of motivation of mood here in the 50% one, panic attacks more than once a week. Up here in the 70% one, you got suicidal ideations, obsessional rituals, that's OCD activity, but it's on a severe case. Near continuous panic or depression affecting the ability to function independently. So you might have to have your buddy, you might be your spouse or somebody else helping to take care of you once, once you start getting to the 70. Not necessarily the case, all the cases, but you might have to have that. 
here in again another highlight so like a mild memory loss so i'm kind of relating how this this 30 percent goes into the 50 and 70 percent so mild memory loss so impairment of short and long-term memory and obviously that is the crucial factor in the 70 percent one that you don't really have this memory you have a memory issue but it's not inter in not impairment of short and long it's it's your complete like your memory you can't remember stuff so retention of only highly learned material for getting complete for getting to complete tasks so you might have that issue here in the 50 percent one and obviously 70 percent more severe so this is how so you can go back here and relook at all this and and see how their 30 percent relates to your 50 and 70 and then you can kind of word your your claim or structures your claim to effectively get either the 50 or the 70 percent rating and then get you close to that 100 percent rating overall what what do you need like everything I, I we talk about here with the va you need that diagnosis so you probably already have the diagnosis you just need to get more evidence so to say that it got worse that description of in-service occurrence so you're probably you're already service connected but if you're doing this for the first time and you're trying to get that 50 or 70 percent or even 30 percent you need that two and three your in-service occurrence and that nexus there your statements and supported claims are going to be crucial here because it's going to tell you the va how severe it got it's going to also help that psychiatrist or that medical professional that you've been seeing to help you know, back up their case, you know, with your buddy letters and statements in support of claims for the VA. If you have any comments or questions about this topic, please place them in the comments section or send me an email at contact at battlebuddyben.com. If you like what you viewed, hit that like and subscribe button to let others know about this video and the YouTube channel where you'll find videos just like this and much more about the VA disability claims process. Also, check out my website. I have a lot of great links, templates, and information about the VA disability claims process on it. The website is battlebuddyben.com. It is also on the screen. Keep working hard and good luck with your claims.